talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! All right, folks, today I am back at the Rice Canal. After catching those red ear last week with Virgil and that 10 inch crappie, in this place I know it has potential. Today I brought a secret weapon with me though. It's sitting behind me and it's my 12 foot pole. That way instead of fishing with red wither, just being able to do it from this gutter, I can walk along this entire weed line on both sides. I couldn't stick my pole out quite far enough with the six or seven foot rod, but that 12 foot rod, I'll be able to get to more places and jig, the, jig those red wigglers vertically a lot easier. Oh, and them fish are still sitting right here, I can just tell. Is. Oh my god, folks, finally. Ooh, a nice black crappie, too. Now, do you regret not bringing the bucket? We should have brought it. We, these are nice crappie in here. That's a nice black crappie, guys. I'm using a slab daddy jig in the color of yellow and chartreuse, like lime truce. 90 degree weather, middle of July, catching crappie. And it's not even evening yet. It's six in the afternoon nice little black crappie we are fishing a cypress rice canal and recently discovered it pretty much and we realized that this thing is just loaded with fish most people would drive by it and just think it's bullheads and gar but i'm telling you what it's got some nice fish in it it's a nice crappie back in I guess. Nice little black. Thumbs up for the slab daddy jig. A lot of crappie in here. You got one? We almost got one from inside the gutter guys. Bobber and worm inside this gutter. She let it flow down, but her pole's bent really bad. I don't know what she's got here. Of course, it's a feather light rod, but. Careful. Oh my God. Jesus. You had a bow fin probably, or a big channel cap. God. Man, that probably scared them too. That was a big fish. That was a bowfin, is my guess. Or a channel. Kind of a bowfin would have been going crazier. That was a big channel cat. Or a giant bullhead. 
right, folks. Well, we just caught a nice little red ear. I caught a bluegill. Realized I didn't have the camera on. Not a bad one. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Good job. We got doubles. I'm stupid and changed my battery about three or four minutes ago and forgot to turn it back on. Uh, like I said, anyway, I, I'm slowly figuring these fish out. Use a split shot and a worm. You let it fall all the way to the bottom where you can feel it hit bottom, then you pick it up four inches off the bottom and just jiggle it real slow. And you get a bite almost every time. I got my 12 foot rod, which really gives me an advantage here over a regular pole. Way deeper right in front of that gutter and behind it. It's real shallow everywhere else. What do you got? Another, she caught three red ears, guys. She caught three red ears in a matter of a few minutes. Goodness. I don't know what the answer is. I got one finally. I just ain't getting near as many as you. Mine is a regular bluegill, not very big. Uh, I'm gonna try inside the gutter, so I want you to get out of it. I'm gonna try it with a waiting worm like this. Little regular bluegill, folks. I almost guarantee that's what that was now, earlier, you had the big channel cat inside the gutter. Got him. Alright, another, that's a male bluegill. Yeah, I don't know why the, I'm having trouble with the hook sets on this pole, I gotta do it harder. Not a bad one. Nice little male. Just peed all over me. God. Peed all over my hand. And see, and there's bound to be some bigger ones in here. Bound to be. Everyone can't be that same size. I'm not getting, I'm tying a hook on. Working. I don't get it. Oh, yeah. Man. All right, she got a crappie. I think hers is a white. It's hard to tell from here. Yeah? In the gutter? Huh? Yeah, another black. Uh -huh. Wilma got a black crappie in the gutter. Well, I'm going to try to, I guess. I'm going to try with a bobber over here and see what happens. Come on there, that's why. You got a fish. Or it acted like it. Probably maybe it was you. It ain't even floating, it's sinking. You got one? I told you. Good Lord. You got probably got another crop in a bluegill. Hey. Yeah. My 
battery's about dead again. Gosh, not bad. Yeah. Longer shank hooks, obviously. The big cricket hooks. It's a nice bluegill. God. I had a freaking hook on. Gee.